Welcome back to Oliver's Greenhouse. It's a beautiful morning here in the greenhouse and uh, there's a few things which are in flower. One in particular I'm particularly pleased with. Um, always puts on a good show and this is my Dendrobium devonianum which is here next to me. It's got, well it's in flower at the moment. Uh, it's a peculiar little orchid because um, it flowers from these, well it's deciduous so it drops all of its old, um, all of its last year's leaves will drop off of it and it flowers from the old canes usually for me just before it produces a new growth. Now we took a key key off of this which is over there uh, up on the mounted wall. Uh, so this is the original plant and um, it, had, it was looking pretty rough um, before I remounted it on this mount up here. So it was a bit sort of like I didn't know how it was quite going to turn out um, but it's put on a beautiful display um, of flowers. It's got one, two, three, four five, six, seven, it's got eight flowers on it, so I'll be, move you guys in, we'll have a little look about that, uh, or look at that, and uh, we'll have a little bit of a chat about its care, um, and some brief facts about it. Okay, so here's a close-up of the flowers, um, you can see they sort of, they produce uh, from where the nodes of the leaflets would have been uh, from last year's growth, I'll just rotate the cane, you can see the flowers there, I think they look like little Pokemon, that's what I think. I'm not. I'd know what Pokemon were, obviously. Um, and they've got this lovely sort of like yellow throat um, with these uh, pinky purplish tips to the petals. Uh, they're really, really, really pretty. Um, and they smell. I think if you sort of zoom in, you might get a slightly better shot of this fella. They have a sort of like an unusual sort of like hairy fringe to the outside of the um, to the outside of the petal here. Uh, they've got a, they, they, they appear to be hairy. If I sort of move in, you might be able to... You can just kind of see it there on the edge of that. Uh, and it smells, I think, that it's got quite a distinct light... Well, it's a light smell um, of an aroma. I think it smells like freshly ground pepper, um, which is not unpleasant. It's sort of a, a spicy note. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I think it's a really pretty little, pretty little orchid, and it's growing up here on one of my custom mounts up there with the horrendous backlighting. So um, yeah, it seems to do really well. There's no signs of the new growth yet, um, but that's not unusual. Usually, well, or th this particular plant, it usually flowers and then midway through flowering, it produces um, its, new, um, its new growth for the year. So, okay. So it was named after, well, this particular orchid was named after, um, um, an English um, orchid collector, um, thus the, the Devon, Devon's Dendrobium, basically, which is what what, what Dendrobium devonianum stands for, basically. Uh, and it comes from places like um, the Himalayas, um, and Burma, and Thailand, and Laos, and stuff. And it, it, it's epiphytic, so it grows on the side of grows on the side of tree trunks and stuff like that, basically. Your typical epiphytic orchid, really. Uh, not particularly high up, within sort of 500 metres uh, above sea level. And um, yeah, it's a very rewarding little orchid. So I keep it um, dry um, through winter or dry earth through winter. Uh, I keep it evenly, um, evenly watered during the summer. I find it very low maintenance. Um, it can be susceptible to spider mite because uh, this particular plant did get a really bad case of it um, not all that long ago. Uh, before moving into the greenhouse, which we cleared up. It was not particularly difficult to get rid of using neem oil, um, but it, the plant really suffered, and um, quite a lot of these canes, if we look up here, hopefully you'll be able to see them without too much horrendous backlighting. Some of these older canes here, they've almost completely shriveled up now and become really brittle, just where they're, they're not holding or being used as a water store. This was two years ago. This is still okay. It's, it's shriveled up. This one's still relatively plump uh, and in bloom, and the new growth should, if I pick it up, I'll pick it up and bring it down so we can actually have a look at it, zoom you guys out a little bit. Oh, get away from that horrible backlighting. So you basically get a crown of canes um, with the roots projecting out from beneath them, and it's usually from in here in that little void is where the new growth will appear. Just as like a little green stub and it'll extend downwards uh, and these pendulous canes. I find it, it can be quite tricky to, um, 
accommodate this and this is why in my previous video I was discussing turning the back wall over here so up by the fan all the way up to the eaves and down the other side there turning that into more orchid mounting area because because of its height obviously you can see that's a full-size pedestal fan you can see how much height there actually is there um, it's going to be a lot easier to accommodate pendulous species such as this because um, I mean these canes that are on here at the moment they have got to be 1.2 meters long probably and so it, it, it won't fit up on the normal wall over this side because what happens is it all drags on the benches that's a lovely brass here still in flower down there um, so because it's too long so basically what happens is the canes droop down on the surfaces down here and they get wet and it's no good for something that's potentially going to come into flower um, so the idea was to turn the back wall up there into another orchid mounting wall um, and take advantage of the extra height because plants like this are going to be a lot happier on something like that than they are uh, with the canes drooping all over the place. It just uh, provides a runway for insects, slugs, pests to, uh, you know, to spread up and onto the wall and amongst the other plants. So um, yeah, really easy to look after orchids, pretty straightforward to grow. Um, very rewarding, unusual growth habitat, can be a bit of a pain. I wouldn't advise trying to grow it in a, in a pot. I have seen it growing in a pot and you've got to constantly stake these long canes and, it's, and it, just looks, it just looks hideous basically. So grow them mounted, keep them moist throughout the year, um, apart from in winter when you're going to really want to back off, um, back off on the water and just keep it moist. So uh, there we go. That's about it for this orchid. Uh, we've got another dendrobium in flower as well, which we're going to be having a little chat about uh, in another video. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little, very brief little video. And, uh, and there'll be plenty more content coming from me soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up like down, down below. And if you like my channel and the content I make, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.